Bryce feeling? He has a bad cold is what I'm told. Yeah, Bryce is out with a non-COVID illness. Can you say, tell us how he's feeling? I, not good. <laughs> what are the, uh, I'm not a doctor, Jerry. He doesn't feel good, so I don't. I have no idea. Okay. He's been out for the last, since Wagner. Okay. Uh, and Brandon Weston went through his warm-up. He was dressed. Uh, Brandon's not cleared for games yet. He has to go through. There's a protocol. He's cleared for contact. He's cleared for practice. He, he's not cleared for games yet. Okay, thanks for the clarification. Yep. What did you think of Miles and uh, like 100%? How, how important is it having him back this weekend? Well, I think it was it was good for him to get a game. If he didn't play today, if he didn't play today, he wasn't going to play against uh, Texas because I didn't want his first game back to be where his where he's so jacked up that. He goes out and re-injures himself. So it was important for him to just get out there and just kind of get through some game, you know, go through the warm-ups, go through sitting out, and then coming back in. Uh, but he, he felt great. He looked great. It was good to have him back. Tyree Samuel had a career night, or career day, 22 points, 12 rebounds. Can you just speak on, like, his development and how he's grown so much this season as a player? Yeah, I mean, Tyrese is making that. I, I'm, he's starting to make the jump that, that most of our guys do their junior year. You know, he's – um, I think the biggest thing for Tyrese is he's just not settling on being outside. Uh, he's he's being he's using his athleticism, being a little bit more physical inside, and uh, trying to get to the rim a little bit more. Uh, yeah, I mean, I I just we I I I know what we need to work on. You know, we've had some time and and we played three games and understand. Uh, we had two good practices this week, but it's going to be important for us. You know, we really need to improve offensively. We we, we just have to. We're just um, we're really struggling offensively, and we just got to keep working on that. Did you see anything in the half court offense? That I didn't. I didn't even run. A, we didn't run an offense. I just wasn't going to. Um, we've we've been actually working on some new stuff that we haven't run yet, and I wasn't. We just, we didn't run one offense today. I mean, it was just reverse it and pick and roll and. Uh, for numerous reasons. Uh, a little bit of ball, a little bit of everything. Hey, let's talk about Texas. So we're going to have to bother you during a week about it. Uh, what, are you, what are your thoughts on them at a glance and the challenge they present? Jay, you know, you know me. I, I have watched them twice, so I can't really talk about them yet. I don't have a game plan for them yet. I don't, all I know is they're really good and they play really good defense. How much could the fans help you? Jared said he was hoping to look up and see a huge crowd. And you know, can they play a factor in the game? They always do. It's, I hate to say it, it's one reason in this building we, we average like a 42-point victory in this building. It's just there's a different energy. So, yeah, I mean, it, uh, Thursday and Sunday are huge for us. Our fans are going to be huge. Have you ever coached against Chris Beard before? We played Texas Tech uh, in, the in the Garden four years ago, I think yeah. it was. Yeah. It's a great game. Thoughts on him. I mean, they had a lot of transfers. Yeah, Chris. Chris is one of the best coaches in the game. You know, the, what, how they defend is unique. You don't see it at all. Um, the way they deny, the way they're up the line, how they switch. Um, you know, it, it, it's, it's a monumental challenge. What kind of an opportunity is this, is this week for your program, Kevin, especially to do, have these games at home? Well, I think having them at home is a great – I think it's, it's twofold. You don't have to travel, which is big. Um, the travel from Michigan, I thought, hurt us because we didn't get home until about 3.30 th in the morning. We we had two bad days of practice. Uh, I think being at home is really important. I think it, it helps you get in a rhythm. Um, it's what, you know, If you look at Texas' schedule, they haven't left. You know, I think they played Gonzaga, uh, obviously at Gonzaga, but the rest of their games, they've been home. It just gives you a chance to get into a really, really good rhythm. How is uh, Jahari doing? Uh, Jahari is game by game right now. Yeah, I, I think that's it's one of the issues I've been having. <laughs> um, there's some guys that need to get get some time because they're they're talented, um, and it's it's helped us tremendously. Uh, the only game that really didn't help us as much is probably Ohio State. We didn't really wear down Ohio State, um, but it's where it's everyone else gets really worn down, especially you know our fours and fives. Um, you know, you start with Ike and Lex are two big physical guys, and then we come in with Reese and. Trey, who are two athletic guys, they're they're completely different, um, you know. And again, you know, Bryce is our second leading scorer. He wasn't even here, so 
Um, I have a lot of confidence in all, in all nine guys that I play. You know, Jameer is a great guy coming off the bench because he's, he could be instant offense. So you have guys that can come in and shoot. You have guys that come in and score. Uh, it's, a, it's a nice problem to have. Thank you. Thanks, guys.